Hello everyone, welcome back to Retromancers. Then we begin. Cowbunga. Cowbunga. Indeed. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not seeing how this TV is even functional. Yeah, I love how they're all like gathered yeah. around it and Mike's yeah. just like licking the TV. I guess they're pretty enamored with April O'Neil, yeah. so that makes sense. Like, I could have sworn Michelangelo had a relationship with April like, in like one episode or there was something, but then he like knocked boots with the neutrino shit instead. You know, it could be totally No, I think that was Raphael. And it was a costume party. And there was this other like turtle chick. And they thought it was a costume, but she actually was another mutated person. Hmm. So it's like she actually was, you know, the proper species. <laughs> and then I think it went nowhere. I don't remember that at all. <laughs> don't get the pizza yet. This game's all about the judicious consumption of pizza. Oops. Shit. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, I did not mean to do that. Munchies. It's Baxter Stockman! It should have been like uh, the Jeff Goldblum fly before he started to deteriorate. <laughs> was, it, was it like... He was like uh, doing an arm wrestling match and he like oh. snaps his arm. <laughs> and then he vomits on the guy's arm. <laughs> <laughs> 16, man. <laughs> He's like, whoa, this game's creepy, man. <laughs> Although it was annoying that the foot soldier was uh, right in front of the font. Can you go in the manhole? I want to see if he says the same thing. Yep. Yeah. Uh, that would be cool if it was like character specific. How did I... what hit me? I don't, I don't know. Didn't you have like six bars of life? I did. What happened? Oh wait, but then I, I think Raph's defense is yeah, weak. that's right. The, the thing is obviously yeah, alien, right? Yeah, a xenomorph. Yeah. What are we playing, Mega Man? What's happening here? Where am I? <laughs> How are you supposed to get that pizza? Oh, All right. Nice. I coasted from like the pain. <laughs> the pain to pleasure. Wow, you're getting wrecked. Yeah, I'm hurt. Oh, yeah. We left him either. But you'll get one soon. Technodrome. I, I can't remember if I had the action figure of this thing. Did you ever have it? No, I had the, the pizza launcher. <laughs> I like how these guys just kind of morph up. Yeah, I don't remember them having like T-1000 technology in the Technodrome. Well, wasn't the whole thing with them fighting at first, it's like, you know, they don't want to kill anyone. And then they find out they're robots, they're like, hell yeah! Yeah, <laughs> yeah like, you're right. <laughs> I remember that. Nice. I remember when I first saw this as a kid, I was like, this is awesome. Glad that letter shot out. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I uh, tried diving into my television screen as a kid once. Laughing? It, yeah, it, it didn't work out. No? Like that. Well, <laughs> this kind of makes sense. This is what happens after you smash your face in. Things just kind of fade. Mm -hmm. Okay. Enter a time warp. Yeah, right. Okay, standard. Wow. I didn't realize prehistoria was puce. Oh. I just got stalag. Well, whenever, yeah, whenever you're stalag. referring to Keanu Reeves, this failure is bound to <laughs> follow. I know where the boss that sleeps. Carfax Abbey. Now this is the fight that is way easier with two players. There uh, we go. Bebop and Rock Steady. At least they're in their proper theme. There you go. Oh, I gotta kill one of them, man. Kind of true to the show. They bicker each other to death. Oh, I think this music. And like one of these guys just comes out with a freaking six shooter and shoots you in the head in like a grizzly finishing move. <laughs> Traumatizing kids everywhere. That'd be great. I mean, horrible. These guys have like steel beams. Yeah, you know. That's how they rock it in the West. Ooh. They're on lobsters. Yeah. It's not enough shredder in this game though. Shredder's a funny enemy. Yeah, I think the first episode that he shows up, it's like, you know, dead serious, and then the first, like, mishap, he's like, whoa, damn you turtle. Yeah, he's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. He's <laughs> like, like a baby. Like, completely, you know, not the character you would yeah. expect. You know, like, Krang and Shredder are like a married couple. Shredder! <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Yeah, we got the, it's like the cool, like, chilling in the lobby music. Wait, oh, we don't have to jump? Thank God. Mode 7 graphics. <laughs> Is that the super body? Yep, we got Quang flying on. Didn't it have, like, uh, the power to enlarging? Yeah, and, and then, it never worked. Well, I think the turtles, like, went inside him in a non-sexual way and, like, broke the... Oh, yeah. The orb of enlargement or whatever the hell it was. Of course, I think I, I can see, like, Donatello, like, thrusting his staff through it. There's a or lot of... he comes up with the idea because, you know, he does machines. He does machines and he does them hard. <laughs> in case you forget what year it is. I love this. Nothing says future like... The cannonball of the future. <laughs> Super Shredder, looks like. Yeah. That was pretty disappointing in a uh, second Turtles movie. It's like it just gave him the power to destroy a dock. Yeah, it, just because he lumbered around. Like, he just became like, uh, like Michael Myers or something, you know? Yeah. He's like not a ninja anymore. No. He's like, Ugh. Wait, why is the Statue of Liberty there? Because they stole it in the beginning, remember? I don't know. Cranks. That was picked it up ages ago. A loving embrace. <laughs> wow, I don't think that would happen. The, the physics of that just seemed impossible. Well, it's Ninja Turtle physics. That's right. Like I thought they were like supposed to be like laying low and stuff. Yeah. Huge where where blip. was that guy? He's just like, yeah. <laughs> Look at Splinter, man. He's, he's like, like, I'm gonna so touch April in the bedroom tonight. Ah, oh, barf. <laughs> Foot soldiers getting there. One day of glory that they tell, they sit around the fireside and like that. But for one day, we punch the turtles. <laughs> we will die, but not this day. But later. Now, what were they doing in the Statue of Liberty? I didn't pay attention to the beginning when they were just like, hey, we're at the Statue of Liberty. Yeah. Convenient plot device. All right, give it your all. <laughs> Splitter has a whistle. He's a gym teacher. Sorry to do that to you. Try someone else? Let's see if we go down. Yeah, yeah, pick Don, I'll pick Leo, because we haven't used him. We'll see what Foot! <laughs> so you're gonna be my coach. Alright, hit the guys. I did it. <laughs> I'm done. And um woo! We're done. And that's it. Pearl power. <laughs> I wonder if she's naked under that toga. She's French, you know that.